Good morning. I'm a follower of the Lord, and my name is Ryan McKeel. This is YBMerelyHuman.com and the video blog that's on it. This morning I'd like to talk about uh, fear of man versus the fear of the Lord. Uh, so I'll start off with scripture. Proverbs 1 says, The fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge, but fools despise wisdom and instruction. So I'm not particularly qualified to talk on any of these topics, but I felt the Lord impressing on my heart that I should talk about it, so here goes. There's a huge difference between the fear of the man and fear of the Lord, and in a Christian walk, uh, you really need to understand the difference. So I'm going to give you a few examples uh, of comparing the two. So if you go to the mall and you're very concerned with clothing, uh, appearance, what you say, things like that, that's fear of man. Um, because you're around other people and you really care what they think about how you act, how you respond, things like that. But if you go to the mall and you say, you know, Lord, tell me what you want me to do here. And maybe you talk to some people that you otherwise wouldn't have. Um, maybe you love the friends that you're with and try to support and encourage them. And you're thinking about how to impress God. That's fear of the Lord. Uh, in this case, fear needs to be defined. You know, what is fear? Um, fear is not, oh, I'm afraid of you. Uh, it's, in this sense, fear of man, fear of the Lord, it's talking about, I respect you. I value your opinions. Um, I really care about what you care about, and I want to know what you care about. Uh, so when you fear man, um, you're caught in a frantic cycle of trying to please man. And when you fear the Lord, you're caught in a peaceful cycle of trying to please the Lord and being reaffirmed of your value in the Lord. So it's really a heart and a mind change that will only come about by reading the Word, by listening to the Spirit, by praying, and those are all things that you do, but I assure you that God is in the mix and that He is the one who affects change in your heart and mind. Uh, without Him, you can't do it yourself, uh, and I've learned that lesson the uh, hard way, but I've also read some good materials on it that uh, I'll reference maybe in later uh, videos that really say that the Lord is in charge of our spiritual growth. It's not us trying to push, 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 but the Lord working to grow us over time. And we see that play out with uh, adversity in our life, hard things that happen, um, painful things. I mean, my mother died uh, when I was uh, just finishing up high school just a couple weeks before I graduated and that was very hard. Um, loved her very much but Lord grew me through it. Uh, praise, praise the Lord because He's the one who can turn bad things into, uh, into wonderful, beautiful things. Uh, he's the restorer of life. Uh, so, so praise the Lord. Uh, I'll read one other passage. This is Proverbs 2. My son, if you receive my words and treasure my commands within you, so that you incline your ear to wisdom and apply your heart to understanding, yes, if you cry out for discernment and lift up your voice for understanding, if you seek her as silver and search for her as for hidden treasures, then you will understand the fear of the Lord and find the knowledge of God. So I really encourage you to do as this says. It, if you cry out for discernment, lift up your voice for understanding, seek her as silver. So in this case, don't pursue money, pursue God, pursue understanding, pursue wisdom. These are all good things to pursue and God will uh, bless you for that by letting you understand the fear of the Lord. And I'll tell you, whether you realize it or not, you're either slave to, to man and to belongings, to possessions things like that, or you're slave to God. And I've always struggled with the term slave to God, but but let me tell you that it's better to be a slave to God than a slave to the world. Uh, much more peaceful, and He is our Creator, so 
we need to trust that he has good things for us uh, and that he loves us and that it is good to fear, respect him. So I encourage you to read more of the book uh, when you can, when you have time in your busy schedule, and uh, God bless you. Thanks.